guys, happy February 13th. I'm with Ryan, back in Atlanta for the day, and then we're gonna go back to... It's over here back in Orlando. <laughs> go back to Athens, because I have one class. But she has like 10 shoots to go to. Shall be fun. I was just gonna skip, but she doesn't want to. <laughs> I wanna go to Athens. She, she complains every time we get out of town how much she hates it. No, I fell in love and then the last like couple of times it's just been really bad weather and then I fell out of love again because I was like, you know what? It's, really it's too good to be time. true. I know. Every time she comes it rains. It doesn't rain for like a month straight and then she comes. It sucks. Anyways, we are right now in Atlanta. Um, we're going to go to this coffee shop that Ryan just um, discovered. It's called Chrome Yellow. I went to it this Sunday with my friend. Is that it for you guys? Yeah. Cool. 10 dollars <laughs> Turkey and cheese pocket. We came to this coffee shop because I have a deadline today to edit a video and have it started, so I need to get all that and do it. I've been talking to too long. So, yeah, Ryan forgot his laptop at home. So, don't know what you're going to do. Forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I feel like it needs like a prop in my hand. I feel like I should just carry my backpack. So the coffee shop was cool, but she didn't like the cold brew coffee. It was so gross. It didn't have any creamer in it, but it's like sweet enough. Does honestly. cold brew have creamer? You in can it? put it in there. But like it's not meant to, right? No, I mean, most people don't drink any creamer in their coffees. But I thought it was pretty good. Very cute, cool. In a weird area, right? Kind of. Yeah, if I start kind of gentrifying it, it was like eight hundred thousand dollar house across from like a little like apartment yeah, and like. It was weird. But now we're at Linux. And I told her since her underwear is so nasty that we could get her new ones for Valentine's Day. I literally have the same underwear for like so long. Yeah, and they just, I mean Victoria's Secret underwear doesn't really hold up that well. Let me know if there's any really great underwear brands that you guys like. I mean I'm not really looking to spend like super crazy amount of money, but I also do need to invest in some good underwear that will like, you know, last me a while. But we'll see what they have. Sometimes I don't even like their styles and like their colors, so I'm like, eh, I'll just get it another time. What would you do with those? Oh, they're kind of cool. You think I look cool? What's the point of them? I think they're blue light -like glasses. So when you like stare at your laptop for a while, I don't know, I gotta read. And not. Yes, they're blue light -like glasses. Just finished a bit Linux. No one bought anything, so I redistributed funds and we're at St. Regis to get some drinks. Here. So Ryan just got a beer at St. Regis, and now we're gonna head to our Umi reservation. We decided to treat ourselves because. Know, exciting things are happening and Valentine's Day is tomorrow so we're celebrating a little bit early. We haven't been at Umi in a really long time. When's the last time we went? With your dad? No. This summer. This summer. Yeah, oh, your birthday? Himatsu. Yeah. <laughs> birthday. That was like June but it's uh, February so that was, that was kind of a long time ago. I'm excited because I haven't had sushi in a while. I was trying to like save myself for this so I could get really really excited. So. I'm pumped. I'll try to show you guys all the food we get. Oh my god, I can smell it. It smells so good. Hey 
guys, happy February 14th. It is Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day. Ryan surprised me with some mama's boy. So he got extra raspberry jam for me. This is what I love. This is raspberry jam and so good. They're like bigger than I thought. Like it's I really remember. Good. I don't care. Can get a bigger one. But do you want me to get a knife? A sharp one? Uh let's grab that one. It's in that drying rack. You gotta <laughs> inspect the biscuit to make sure it's in good condition. Wait, what are you saying? Have to inspect the biscuit. I feel like I, I haven't felt my mouth water in a while, but it's definitely watering now. So we had a Valentine's date night last night. So I think tonight I really want to bake cookies. <laughs> and then maybe see a movie. It's currently 5.28 and Ryan had class pretty much all day today so he just dropped me off at a Starbucks and I did some work there. And then after that we walked around um, downtown Athens for a little bit and I'm really interested in getting like a really good band tee, like a flowy, comfortable one, not like the stiff ones, you know. I don't think anyone knows what a band tee is. A band tee? It's like Leonard Skinner or Queen or... Oh, band? Band! You're saying band tee. No, band T. Anyways, so I want one of those. Um, let me know if you guys have ever had like a really soft, comfortable, like flowy one, like and oversized polyester. one. Um, yeah, polyester. <laughs> Love a good polyester shirt. I thought that the store Dynamite downtown Athens would have them, but they don't really have that much. Everything was so overpriced. Yeah, really, really overpriced. We never vlogged about this last night. I don't know why we didn't. Yeah. But when we, at, we were like halfway through dinner. Yeah. And like, I saw people at the front door. I mean, he kind of looks like someone I went to school with. But like Freddie Freeman sat down at the table across from me. And I was like, like what the heck? And it was like, I don't remember his name. I, if I looked at the roster, I would know it. But it's like two other starters for the Braves. Mm -hmm. And then one guy wasn't a starter. And then they left a seat open. And I was like, oh, dang, like nice someone else is coming. And then freaking Ryan Howard comes in. Well, like the Hall of Fame player for the Phillies comes in, sits down next to him. And I'm just like sitting there, like literally like, starstruck, trying to eat my dinner. If I keep like staring at him, it's, just... it's funny because like Ryan literally told me like right when they came out in the door, he was like, "Those guys are famous." I was like, "How do you know?" Like, and especially when you're in Umi, because Umi is like one of the top-rated sushi places yeah. in Atlanta. So like famous people go there. I sat next to Nicolas Cage one time, like no joke. So like you know, famous people are probably gonna be there. So when you when he said that, I was like, I mean, like I wasn't even like doubting it at all i was like yeah they're probably famous i have no idea who they are but freddie freeman like i kind of like remembered his face, face yeah, yeah his face is like very distinct like he like yeah. a guy would be it's also huge he had to be like six six he's like really big guy mm. but you know he just looks famous all like you could smell him like their cologne it's like expensive cologne it's from, like a table over mm -hmm. and they all had like me nice watches on and like he's like expensive t-shirts that they like, you know talking about that like yeah so i had my um starstruck moment of my own because I like just got into football like when did I get into it it was like the last um, peach bowl yeah, when over. when UCF went to the peach bowl I like finally got into football um, and so one day at my sorority meal plan in my capital to house where I reside I was like sitting down chilling like eating like you know looking at like a hobo as usual and then Shaquem Griffin walks in okay no no big deal i mean deal. it is a big deal he's so he's so cool he's super famous now and he's in like every ad ever now you know mm -hmm. i was just I cool like a nice per just a nice person. he seems really nice i didn't talk to him at all because i was just like like i didn't want to bother him because he came to my sorority house to eat so i didn't want to like be like Oh my god, can I get a picture with you? You know, it's kind of weird. And I didn't want him to feel like he could never, like, come back. So I didn't get a picture. But just know that I almost pissed myself because I was like, this is so cool. I'm sitting next to Shaquem Griffin. Ryan took the long way to get home. <laughs> he was trying to show me around campus, but, like, we got stuck in really bad traffic. You know, I'm talking, like, this is where we were sitting when I turned, so I'm going to cut traffic. What? <laughs> I don't know. So like, we're going we're in a circle? Like, we're, like, still, like, 30 minutes from home. 
30 minutes. Mm. Our plans were to see a movie, but I literally can't pick. It's between Miss Bala, because I love so Jane the Virgin. It's the Jane the Virgin girl, and it's pretty much she goes out to a nightclub, and then she gets kidnapped, and then her these... Head. What? And she hits her head. No. Every movie is like, she hits her head, and like, something happens. Isn't it Romantic was the other one, and then What Men Think is the other one. And like, there's something like a Freaky Friday moment, like, this girl sips tea, this girl hits her head. In the I Feel Pretty movie, she hits her head. I'm like, can you guys come up with something a little bit different? Like... I don't get it, but anyways, I still want to see the movies. So I'm having a hard time choosing which movie I want to see, so we might just go get like a red box movie and do movie night at home and then go watch a movie in the theaters tomorrow. We're in Kroger and we decided that we're going to do pizza this night, so we decided to get some wine and Brian's going to get his beer, but got beer pink Moscato. This is like all I drink because I don't, I don't know how to expand my taste palette and I also am not super rich, so I don't know if I can afford anything even better so let me know if you guys have any recommendations for like really sweet wines that are cheap yeah. let me know Going to Pepino's, Ryan has always talked about how good it is, so. She gets some thick ass crust with gross toppings, which probably, I don't like it. Dude, we all have our Hispanic preferences, okay? Special. That was you thought it was gonna be. You got so shook when you opened it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a breadstick, I swear, it's not a breadstick. What the fuck is that? She said, <laughs> as I told her, you don't want the, the crust with me. Hey guys, happy February 15th. It's currently 2.17. And we are going to shoot for allergy provisions and last resort grill. If you guys watched like any of my vlogs that I've been to Athens, I started shooting um, for these two places. And I reached out to the girl again and she wanted more pics. So I'm very excited because food shoots are like super fun. Like you get to like stare at food and make them look really, really pretty. And I had to shave for an interview this morning. Yeah. How about you an extra buddy? <laughs> Which one's your favorite so far? I like that one. Which one? It looks pretty. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I haven't eaten anything all day. What time is it? 2.30. Today I'm using the 24 to 70 millimeter lens with the Canon 70D. Um, I literally switch my lens up every single time I take these pictures, but they turn out good, so whatever. So we just got done on our food shoot and we got some food to take home, so I'm really excited about that. <laughs> Ryan's really bummed. Um, yeah, and I've never seen it that busy because we usually go in the middle of the day, so it's not as packed um, because I don't even think they're like open then. Anyways, it was literally crazy. Um, there was a line. There was a line. Out the door. Open, a line to seated. There's like standing. It's yeah. Come for a serve, I guess. Crazy. Um, so I mean, it's really, days. it's really famous. I mean, I remember in high school I heard about Last Resort. <laughs> One girl just messaged me on Instagram, and she's like, "Oh my God, I think um, messaging you gave me good luck because she just got accepted into UCF." It's just so exciting that people watch my videos about UCF and want to go there and like literally apply because of my video. I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but it just makes me so, so happy because I want to show you guys how great UCF is. So it warms my heart so much when people say it's their top school and actually get in. So congrats to all of the people that got into UCF this year. It's literally going to go by extremely fast. I was just looking at my time hop, I think two days ago, and I saw a video of me pressing my like acceptance online and I was like damn that's insane that that was like four years ago doesn't it feel like it was four years ago but also it doesn't feel like four yes years? yes it seemed like it was like half my lifetime ago that I got into like into like college yeah I mean it also feels like damn like I'm already got to graduate yeah I mean honestly I think high school felt like way longer but I mean yeah, I don't know. It just flew by. So enjoy it while it lasts. Hey y'all, happy February 16th. We are going to the Athens Art Museum. Art Museum. Yeah, UGA Art Museum. It's such a pretty day out. We did get like a late start just because we wanted to sleep in a little bit. These stairs never end, so. Everyone know what George is like. Just walking to the Stairmaster for a while. <laughs> Things that used to happen.
So to make the most of this sunny day, we came to the Botanical Gardens. What's it? The Athens Botanical Gardens, I guess? The whole what? I think it's the whole state of Georgia. Really? Well, I guess Atlanta has its own, but yeah, we're just near the these um, flowers taking some pics. So I would say salt bay when she wears these. <laughs> She's been feeling really creative today. Killing it at the Insta Hubby game. Tell me you're fired, huh? <laughs> wow. Amazing. Good morning, guys. Happy February 17th. Today is super gloomy, kind of cold, like out of nowhere. It's been so nice here. And of course, my last day, it's raining, but like, you know what? I'll take it. I've had a lot of sunny days, so I'm happy about that. We're actually going to another food shoot for LRG Provisions. We're gonna do their brunch items. So I'm really excited because I've never seen their brunch, honestly, I didn't even know they had a brunch. So I'm excited to shoot them and just see what they have. After that, I'm hoping to go to a coffee shop just because I kinda wanna get some work done. And then later tonight, I'm doing a shoot with Brooke Michio. Um, so that's kind of more like lifestyle shots. So I'm pumped about that. Um, hopefully the weather is like okay to shoot it because I was thinking it would be like more of an outdoor shoot um, But I bet there's like a lot of cute like indoor places So hopefully that goes well, especially like with the weather and what it is looking like now done with the shoot and we got so much food from it we're so excited because it's brunch food too there's french it toast. toast no no <laughs> no 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 we're gonna share everything i'm really blessed to have this opportunity here in athens because i get to like you know do what i love and make a little money while on vacation while seeing bay so it works out it's a win-win um i don't feel like super lazy because i feel like i'm doing something that is going to, you know, help me in the future. Ryan helps a lot by <laughs> carrying or like holding up the reflector for me because since it is really gloomy outside, the light that we usually um, work with wasn't as bright. So there was like a lot of shadows and it just wasn't like, you know, it wasn't perfect. So luckily I had my reflector. I literally brought like three bags this time home. I had to take all my camera stuff back here. So a little bit of an overpacker. Well, actually, I'm always an overpacker, but this time it was a little bit worse. I've secured the bag. It's currently three, and we are going to 1000 Faces because I'm meeting Brooke there at four, and I have like a little bit of work to do. I want to upload those pictures that I took this morning. So I thought might as well just do a little work before the shoot. Um, and Ryan's here with me gonna take a test while we're there. I'm very blessed because the weather app told me it was gonna be raining really really bad this whole day um, but it's like been just like sprinkling just super gloomy but like I can do that I just can't do like you know torrential downpour. It's looking great so far so hopefully the shoot goes well. We just took pics and we wrapped our shoe. They were they really turned out great. Like honestly, this day. yes, this weather sucked, but it just kind of got to push through it and the pictures turned She's out really amazing. good. Amazing! Thank you so much. Of Seriously, course. what a fun day! And I'll try to like add some pictures here so you guys can see them. But also follow my photography account if you want to see more. Definitely. Yeah. Monday. Today is the day that I leave Athens and Georgia and go back to college. It also means I'm leaving Ryan. Sad. What? <laughs> Thanks. 
I was trying to think like if I put anything <clears throat> new in my suitcase because I was right at 49 pounds when I came here with my suitcase so I'm hoping that it's not over but I don't think I like got anything or put anything new in it so I'm hoping I won't have to like deal with that because like it's just the most embarrassing thing when you have to like open up your suitcase and like move things around into other bags but thankfully I have two other bags but they're you know not the most empty so yeah, hopefully I don't have to deal with that. It's a one and a half hour ride to the airport from Athens, so we're leaving at, we're leaving at almost 11. It's kind of weird because I usually always have a morning flight or like, not, not always a night flight, but usually a morning flight, but this flight is like in the middle of the day, so that's like a weird time to just have a flight because like, I don't know, you can't like make much of the day, if that makes sense.